Whoa! Oh my gosh! How much is this? welcome welcome back the last few weeks have been insane I cannot believe the plants that we've all been finding at our big box shops I mean it's been so awesome because I've been going out doing plant shopping at the local big box shops here in Charlotte North Carolina and then I've there have been countless comments of people going out to their big box shops and finding the same plants as me and that just makes me so oh say you sit you down that just makes me so so happy it's been so exciting so some of the plants that we've been finding lately just to recap last time we found a beautiful albo monstera stanleyana so stunning this plant is so hard to find and when you do find it it's so expensive the fact it's at big box shops again this is walmart 20 bucks insane also found a Tradescantia happily, a cool new variety coming out, Costa Farms, $15. It's really, really stunning, has that gorgeous variegation, easy care plant. I was thrilled to find this because um, I'd only ever seen it when they gave me a tour at Costa Farms and they said it would come out to market one day and it's out, it's out to markets now. Also been finding some really cool, like been seeing the brandies, the brantianums around the Charlotte area. This beautiful lush brantianum, usually very, very expensive, can't find them. Um, so at the big box shop, this lush full brantianum plus and with this beautiful pot, $12. $12. I'm just getting started. We also found this gorgeous Schistemoglottis wallachi. This is a super rare plant. It's very, very uncommon. I've never seen it in the Charlotte market before. This magnificent, enormous plant. Look how huge it is. Just a small one of these plants is a hundred bucks normally. This humongous plant with the cute little pot $39. $39. I am in shock. And look how beautiful these leaves are. Oh my goodness. Keeping it going. <laughs> also recently found this gorgeous Anthurium fingers. And this is a really, really great plant. The more mature it gets, the more lobes it develops. On the leaves, you can see a little baby one here. We'll see how many little fingers it develops on, on there. A fabulous, fabulous plant, and it came with this amazing pot, $22. Look how lush and full this plant is. It's amazing. I also found Pink Princess recently at Lowe's, which was such a shock. Found beautiful confetti syngonium at Home Depot. Such a wonderful plant. I have one of those, or actually I have a couple of those myself. Today I'm visiting the Walmart. If you saw my last video, it's a Walmart that had a bunch of boxes delivered, but they hadn't opened up the boxes and put the plants away yet. And I had really wanted to go the next day so I could be one of the first ones to see the plants but it's been over a week since I've been able to get back out there. So, you know, we'll see if there's any plants left, but I'm also visiting other Lowe's, other Home Depot's, like probably three other spots besides that one Walmart. So fingers crossed, I find some good stuff today. So if you're wondering what you've stumbled upon, this crazy plant lady, well, welcome. My name's Ashley. And as I said, crazy plant lady and proud. So if that brings a smile to your face and you like planty content, I post only plant, good planty vibes. Um, and I post at least once or twice a week, always plant shopping, plant care, plant tours, all that kind of good stuff. So subscribe if you want to see future episodes in your newsfeed and we also have a wonderful plant community on Instagram. Now enjoying collecting plants whether it was just a couple of plants or as it's turned into many more plants now it's always been a wonderful form of 
therapy for me. It just taking the time to care for all of them and seeing them grow from me nurturing them and learning more about all of the different types of plants and what they need for care and seeing all of that hard work pay off and just taking that time every week to enjoy going around, seeing all of the new progress that's been happening um, while I'm doing my watering, while I'm checking for, you know, any kind of new growths and pests and just caring for them. It's really been a wonderful form of another form of plant therapy for me, which is a great opportunity to share our sponsor for this episode, Aura. I've been using this recently alongside with caring for my plants to help with my overall well-being and mental health. And not only does it help with things like meditation practices, but it really helps reduce my stress and anxiety because it has so many different options between cognitive behavioral therapy, ASMR, it even has relaxing music and breath work. It's won the Best of Apple Award and is used by over 7 million people. So it's like a Spotify for your mind and soul where you can look at all of the hundreds of different therapists and coaches to see which one really resonates with you. I was initially very interested in it because it really helps to just have an app on my phone that I can listen to at any time if I'm having a moment where I'm feeling really anxious. Also, if I need something to help me fall asleep, using it to help practice my breath work. It has helped a lot with my sleep and anxiety. I don't, didn't realize I hold my breath all the time and I'm sure I'm not the only one. I didn't even realize I was doing it, but I'll like hold my breath for a period of time and practicing breath work has helped so much. If you wanna try Aura for free, Yes, for free. The first 500 people to sign up using the link in my description below get a free trial plus 25% off if you want to continue using it and it's only $5 a month. All right, so let's go do some plant shopping and get some plant therapy. I always share my haul at the end of the video. Fingers crossed I find some good stuff today. So it's been about a week. Um, this is the Walmart that I originally came to a week ago and they had all those boxes and I haven't been able to get back over here, but I still wanted to stop by and see what plants they had. When I did um, the episode where I found the Monstera Stanleyana Albo, uh, a lot of people rushed over to this area of Charlotte and to see what plants they could find and I'm so happy that so many people found wonderful, wonderful plants. So I'm assuming that a lot of the plants that, uh, the uncommon rare plants are probably sold already since it's been a week and plants go quickly. Um, so I'm gonna check out a few different spots as I mentioned before, but I did wanna stop by here just to see what they had. Looks like they have some nice size um, peace lilies and parlor palms. Uh, of course I'll name off prices as I go. These are $24.84. Some Monstera Deliciosas. So beautiful. Little snake plants, well not so little, nice sized ones actually. Let's see what else, ooh, okay, I'm gonna check out the trending tropical area. Just to see what I can find, okay, so we have some really nice silver dragons. These are all 1984. Beautiful silver dragons, in love with this plant. Hey, check it out. They have Begonia Maculata Whitey Eyes. You don't see them around that often anymore. And it is such a such a beautiful Begonia. Um, so if you don't have one, it's good to snatch them up while you can. Look at these. It's a type of cane Begonia or angel wing Begonia. And it's just really famous um, in the house plant, uh, house plant community because of its beautiful, beautiful, silvery, shimmery spots. And then on the back it has these stunning red leaves it's really easy to take care of you know just give it water when it's about halfway dry and it does enjoy you know above 50 percent humidity if possible but great great plant and they do have a global green pothos here mine is doing a mate exceptionally well they have lots of ivy down here, big beautiful ivy. Some philodendron birkins, probably one of my easiest plants that I own as far as taking care of taking care of it so easy. Aglionemas here again. Okay, these are $15. Ooh, what a good deal. Calatheas, some ZZs here. Really beautiful. Lots of golden pothos. 
Really lovely. Diffenbachy is here. Again, these are all 15. Look at these pretty Diffenbachias. A bunch more of these golden pothos. Now these are $7.98. That's a good deal. They look like they're in six inch planters, $7.96. Yeah, great, great deal. Some nice cacti. Look how huge these are. <laughs> they're so beautiful. I love these kind, you guys know that. Look at this one. It has a million babies on there. Look at all those little pups. You could pull those off and stick them in soil and they'll grow into their own. Oh, this one has lots of little babies on there too. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, I'm tempted. They look like little candies. Wow. Wonder how much these are. They are $6.97 and you can see like they're a nice size compared to my hand here. They have the chocolate anthurium here, $12.96. They are also called Black Beauty. Very easy to care for. They're like the red pink anthurium that you see, except that they have black chocolate brown um, blooms, and their leaves are also darker foliage, as are their stems. Even the flower is this cool dark color. And uh, here's one of the red ones by comparison. Some, I'm really into these hanging uh, new trending tropicals that they have. That's kind of newer this year, these hanging baskets. And they're still $20, which is a great deal. I mean, you'd pay more than that just for one of these pots from, you know, home goods or something. So we have Tradescantia albiflora. So beautiful. Golden Pothos, Hartley Philodendron. Nice. More Golden Pothos. Now these are $10 for the Golden Pothos. Some beautiful orchids. Some Raven ZZs, they're $18. Lots of cacti, some nice large ones. There's blue cacti, this looks like, looks like this one has some little blooms forming. They have some of these tiny guys. They are $4.49. Look at this really pretty uh, Fetonia. It's so pink. They have some escargot, Rex begonias, the little swirl on there. Oh, they have a Piscia. Look, guys. So this is related to African violets. You don't see them around that often. $5 for this beautiful Piscia. I love the leaves on this. They're so fuzzy and just really, really lush. And they have beautiful flowers. What else? Yeah, more Apiscias, that's a good find. Lots of ivy. Diffenbachias. These are nice. 496, really pretty. Some more Fetonias, snake plants, ivy. I think this is a type of Pylea. Dark mystery. Little Rex begonias. Some more escargot, crotons, syngonium. They also have some cute little bonsai, stunning bromeliads. These are 15. Some little sago palms. Sago palms are very easy care, but they're very toxic for pets. I just like to kind of re-mention that every once in a while. Look at this succulent, how interesting. Aloe, aloe's looking a little rough. 
dracaenas and bamboo, beautiful money trees, some more bromeliads. Wow, look at that bloom. Just arrived to this Lowe's that I came to last time because I was close to it so I thought I'd stop by before I head over to another area with Lowe's and Home Depot. And it's looking a little sparse. They, looks like they still have a lot of good stuff but not as many plants. Looks like they're due for shipment and it just goes to show like some days I arrive and they've had a huge shipment and then other days it's just kind of sparse like this. So let's go through. Like I said it looks like they do have some good stuff even though it's looking a little sparse. Normally it's packed in here and it's still, you know, depending where you live in the country, this could look packed right now, especially with it being winter. So they have this beautiful little orchid. It's so cute. A little bird's nest fern, some ZZs. These are 15 aglionemas here. Really beautiful, like this in itself this in and of itself is a good find, this really lovely Aglionema. And then these other ones are really pretty with the white stems. Calathea here, some ponytail palms. Let's see if I find anything else interesting. Raven Zizi, 25 with the nice little planter. Golden Pothos, pretty little ficus over there. Huge snake plants, like absolutely massive. Lovely parlor palm. Look at this, I believe this is a Diffenbachia. Just a stunner, the, those leaves. And these are really beautiful as well. These are Aglionema. So maybe this is an Aglionema. Whoops, let's see. Ashley to the test. Yes, Diffenbachia. <laughs> Give myself a little pat, I always mess those up. Diffenbachia and Aglionema, sometimes I get confused. Now these Aglionema are really pretty. They have white around the outside of the leaves. You don't see them around that often. Here, I'll pull the leaf out so you guys can see. Look how pretty that is. These are 29 and they also have the really white stems. Some more beautiful Aglionema here. Little fiddle looking a little rough near the clearance section. This is the location where I got my um, really beautiful, I think it's Queen of the Night or a night blooming cactus that I'm obsessed with. Have some bird of paradise. She's pretty. Um, let's see if I see a price here. 26, no 29. And here we go with the clearance section again. They still have a good amount of plants over here on clearance. They have a, a beautiful Moonlight Trubii, 50% off, not bad. I guess it would be about $10 for that. Or less. How much was it originally? Yeah, 20, so it'll be 10. Great deal. I mean, it could use a little bit of water. Looks like it does have some new growth there. I love mine, it grows so fast actually, surprisingly. This, I wouldn't expect this plant to grow so fast. Because um, sometimes these thicker leaves plant, th the thicker leaved plants can take, be a little bit slower growing. Not this one. This one grows really quickly. So that's a good deal for anybody. And you get the planter. 10 bucks. That's a good find. Checking it out over here. Here's another Trubii. A fuller one, but full price. And then some really pretty Alocasia. Desert Rose. Um... Looks like a deja vu philodendron. Now these are only $12.98 and it comes with nice planters. Been, these are the urban jungle ones and it's such a steal. And sometimes you can find rare plants too. Um, look at that ficus audrey. Now these are 22 in those planters. That dracaena is pretty. Let's see what else. And then up here we have some of these orchid cactus. They're 15. I have one of these and love it. This is also the location where I found my Anthurium fingers and it was part of this urban jungle collection. So while I was over here, I thought I'd stop by. Oh look, they have a um, Hoya Bertsene, $15. Love this type of Hoya. I have two of those. 
And then some Syngonium and these hanging planters. They are all 15. They're from the Exotic Angel Costa Farms collection. Look at these $10 bromeliads. That's a really good deal. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, like I said, they have good stuff. Marantas. These hanging pots are really pretty. $26. And that's a crocodile fern. Because it looks like, uh, up close, it looks like crocodile scales. If you haven't seen one of these, it's really neat in person. It's such a cool plant. Um, let's see, let's see. Beautiful Hartley philodendron here. And they do have Baltic blues. Lovely, lovely. Oh, they have a huge Xanthosoma. These are all $20. Calathea mosaica. Seeing if there's anything kind of hidden back there of interest. Don't see anything. Um, some more Scandapsis Moonlight Trubii. A little fern and a birkin. Really pretty Syngonium down here. What do we have in the hanging baskets? Huge Fetonia, absolutely massive. Rex Begonia IV. These are the larger baskets, so they are 20. And they have some interesting succulents. They have a Peperomia here, it's $12. It's, uh, it looks like a Serpens, Peperomia Serpens variegata. And looks like some string of, not bananas, but a string of, string of hooks maybe? Um, some elephant bush. These plants look really cool if you can get a very big version of it. It looks so insane. Like, I would get one of these, a really big version of it. But this, I had seen a really big one of these and I bought a little one just to like see how it went. And it, like, I did not do well with it. Again, it was in the very beginning of my plant collecting, so maybe now it would be different. Um, what do you guys think of this plant? They have variegated versions too, but does anyone else have trouble with it? Or um, have any suggestions? Some nice Calatheas. What do we have? Diffenbachias. Yeah, good stuff. Ouch, something poked me. <laughs> Which one of you poked me in the booty? Was it you, Croton? All right, maybe it was this one. All right, Sago Palm. Uh, some nice ZZs, stunning Calatheas. I was told that the Costa Farm Calatheas uh, are a little bit easier than other Calatheas because I had asked that the last time, which was, you know, interesting to hear if you love Calatheas. Uh, but I know Calatheas can be a little difficult. Maybe try to get like a Trending Tropicals one because they really do some extensive thorough tests on them to make sure they're uh, relatively easy care. So they'll pick the right, the good varieties. So we have Neon Pothos, some Skindapsis, another beautiful Pothos, maybe an Enjoy of Pearls and Jade. Um, cute little air plants, money tree, a sad little ficus back there. Beautiful alocasia. All right, this is like the last little section before I head over to my next spot. And they have a Tradescantia happily. Ooh, this one's nice. It has a lot of variegation on there. $15. Mine's doing well. Rex Begonia up there looks like Red Kiss. Another Rex Begonia Syngonium. Peperomia here. A string of pearls. Some little thick, thick pearls. Oh, this is the uh, elephant bush. $12.98. This is the variegated version. And they have some of these. Oh, and the, uh, these are all $12, which is a great deal. And these are $15. Interesting. Some little Rex Bagones down here. Uh, five forty-eight. Peace lilies. Look at the little baby peace lily blooms. So cute. Um, what else? Wow, look how shimmery that is. Sometimes it doesn't translate on camera. 
but these Rex begonias are so shimmery. Fetonia ivy waffle plants. Dracaenas. Seeing if I see anything kind of jump out at me. I always think that these are pretty. I think it's a type of Aurelia. Balfouriana Aurelia. I just like these leaves. I always pull them out. I don't know anything about it though. So let me know if you know anything about those. I think that's it for here. Sometimes they have a little extra stand down there. Oh yeah, look, there's some down there too. Notice this little stand over here. They do have some of the Baltic blues, calatheas, little fiddles, um, some golden pothos, calatheas, snake plants, aglionemas, bromeliads down here, ponytail palm. This bird's nest is really pretty. I like how crinkly those leaves are. Yeah. All right, I'm at Lowe's and it looks like they have a lot of good stuff. They have some clearance plants over here, some little fiddles, that's a good deal. But I did notice they have some strawberry begonias. They have some Hoyas, I think, over there. Um, but they have here the strawberry begonias. They're 20. And I'm not, not familiar with this plant. Dianthiflora. Oh, Dianthiflora alsobia. That's interesting. Um, see what else, see what else. What is this plant? Some interesting purple pleasure. Mechania. Purple Pleasure Meconia. They have some Adansonii. 20. Peace Lilies. Look at this Aglionema. The color on that is so beautiful. Um, they have a lot of nice Aglionemas down here. Ooh, they have Raphidophora Tetraspermas. That's cool. These are with the Trending Tropical, so they're 20. Lots of new growth on that. They have some Shumi Reds. 20 big xanthosomas. I'm sorry, I'm like smushed up against it because I'm um, pinned by this clearance rack. Uh, ooh, here's a Bertone, $15, a nice Hoya. Dracaena and Alocasia. Bird's nest fern, some little guys down here. Some really interesting ferns, Dracaena. Really cool stuff. I think this is a type of Peperomia. Yes, it is. Rabbit foot fern, one of my faves. They have a nice Philodendron Brazil here. So lovely. Lots of ponytail palms and alocasia. Peace lilies. These are all $15.98. I think they're on sale. Oh no, they're $15.98. Nice, these are the Wiccan Grow. Um, snake plants. All these peace lilies down here look really healthy. Have some Schifflera, some variegated Schifflera or umbrella plants. Lovely fiddles and some small fiddles here. These are 22. Snake plants, some interesting snake plants. A little bird's nest one there. Dracaena. Some Brazil, cute little bonsai, money trees, hmm, Aglionema, bromeliad orchids. How much are you? $20 for this beautiful Diffenbachia. Absolutely lovely. They do have some nice bird of paradise here, the white form. They're $35. Wow, this one's really pretty and humongous. How much? 64 for that one. Looks like a lot of ivy and golden pothos. Ooh, that's a thirsty pothos. If you're ever wondering if your plant is ready for a drink, uh, this plant most certainly is. But it's such a lovely one. Um, some nice syngonium, 
We have a couple varieties here, this lovely green one, and then this looks like a berry illusion. It's very, very lovely, dark foliage. Rex begonias down here. Some cute little Rex begonias. Wow, look how yellow that croton is. Some more Rex begonias. So lush, peace lilies. Dracaena, ponytail palm, some nice sized plants. And looks like Diffenbachia and ZZ's in there. But I did want to point out these beauties. Some humongous xanthosomas, absolutely massive. And these are all 39, as well as some gorgeous ZZ's. Um, these raven ZZ's, I love it how the new growth is bright green like that. It's so beautiful. And then it eventually turns to the more dark color. Some fiddles, beautiful Diffenbachia, and some more fiddles, peace lilies, huge parlor palms. They also have some Hoya Bertsonae, Calatheas, some beautiful global green pothos. Aglionemas. I was just heading out and I noticed that they have homolonemas here. This looks like homolonema, homolonema selby. And I'm so surprised to see this plant here. It's so beautiful. Um, it's great, it's easy care. And uh, it does get thirsty. But that's so cool that they have that here. $27 and it comes in the beautiful planter. They also have some really nice staghorn ferns and a lemon lime philodendron. Look how beautiful that is, a little heart leaf. And uh, lots of money trees, a little ZZ hanging out here. I think it's so cute when you can see the leaves they propagated it from. What else, alocasia. Lovely. Looks like they have a ton of beautiful plants. Going to take a quick peek. Um, cute little Tradescantia, oops. Cute little Tradescantia. And it looks like some really lovely philodendrons. This one is a sun red. It's a philodendron hybrid. I believe these are like, oh uh, yeah, oops, $20 for that. I think this one is Green Princess. And then this one over here is a ZZ plant. They have these beautiful Diffenbachias and they are $16 for these large size Diffenbachias. So stunning, there's some cordyline. Nice monster deliciosas. Let's see how much these are because sometimes these can be on sale. These are 24. Lots of fiddles. They're 19 on sale. They were 26, as you can see right over here. Peace lilies. Big peace lilies. Um, lots of golden pothos up here. Syngonium over there. They have some big trees, you know, like big, big plants. These are 39 for this big fiddle. This one here is 40. They have some really beautiful bird of paradise. Like look how huge these are. $40 for these big bird of paradise, that's a steal. Lots and lots of raven ZZs just all over the place. The raven ZZs are 34. Ooh, look at this, Mykins. $16 for this nice planter of Mykins. That is a great find. You just don't see them around big box shops. Actually, I actually think this is the only location that I've ever seen Mykins. Um, then we have lots of spider plants, philodendrons. 
Oh, Adansonii all back there. $12 for those Adansonii's. That's a deal. Crotons for days. So many beautiful crotons. Bromeliads over here. Some really pretty cyclamens. They also have the Black Beauty or Chocolate Anthurium. Wow, look at these philodendron. They're massive. Maybe Imperial Red. They're 19 and they're so huge. Just by comparison, look at that. <laughs> Whoa, that is such a good deal. Wow. And also, look how beautiful this ponytail palm is. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of tempting me. $50. Oh, it's so beautiful. Like, how cute is that? That would be a statement piece in a room. And they're so easy to care for. $50, that's a really good deal, actually. Hmm. Ooh, just to let you guys know, they have a sale on succulents. Three for 10 for the two and a half inch. Oh, that is a good deal. And they have some nice succulents over here. Let's take a quick look. There are a lot more tropical plants that I wanted to look at, but while I'm over here, three for 10, that's the best deal ever. Look at this fuzzy guy. And I do like it because they have the name. Oh, they don't. Sometimes they have where it has the name of the of the plants. Now this isn't included because it's not the two and a half. I love these, this kind of succulent. Have lots of aloe. And then these three for 12 for the larger ones. That's a good deal as well. Dang. If you're looking for succulents, this is the spot. They have like variegated jade mixed in here. Some nice Kalinkoe, like the elephant bush I've been mentioning. Ooh, look at this one. I think that's another variegated jade. Ah, this is a good find over here. Okay, yes, these do have the names on them, which is nice. Crastula, Perforata, Variegata. Ooh, this one's really pretty too. Two for 10 on those, or three for 10, I mean, deal, best deal ever. Look at this, they have this cute little euphorbia. That's a good find, this little euphorbia, you just take the flower off. That's included in the three for 10, I believe. Oh, they have variegated apuntias. You get a very variegated apuntia included. Wow, that is a steal. <laughs> What else? Oh, here's another Euphorbia. Maybe it's Globosa. I'm not sure. These don't say the names. They just say like decorative with flower. This one's really cool too. I love that kind. You could get Mammillaria, which is this kind. Those put out some really beautiful flowers. Oh, look at this one. Dang. What a deal. They have lots of cool aloe. Ah, oh, they have, um, is it tiger jaw aloe? Look at this one. Ooh, look at this one. This is included as well. All of these. Ooh, look at these cacti. These would be included as well. Because they're two and a half. Look, they're normally $6 and they're three for 10. That's insane. I think the cacti I included. I know for a fact the succulents are. You get some nice stuff. Like, look at this one. Oh, look at this. Wow. Apuntia. Whew. Out of breath. Every time I get excited. <laughs> it's like out of breath. Lots of snake plants. All right, keeping it going in the tropical section. African violets, beautiful ones there. They have aglionemas. The stems on those are so pink. Rattle, snake calatheas, snake plants. How much are these guys? $16. 
and these are 16 as well. ZZ plants hanging out over here. So many raven ZZs, lovely. This is a really neat plant. So pretty. Oh, look at the Syngonium. It's like a mix of lime green and pastel pink, $12.98. Have some more Syngonium. Back there, peace lilies. Some more Monstera Deliciosa. This one is 14. You know, it's a decent size one for $14. And some ponytail palms. Let's check it out over here. See what we have hanging out. Loads of Aglionemas. Ooh, this is a different one than what I've seen lately. Look at that. Oh, she's so pretty. $16. And look at her pink stems. But that's not like a coming into springtime plant. I don't know what is. Then some Syngoniums. Beautiful. Like, look at these humongous plants. $9.98 for those big bushy Syngonium. Little snake plants. More Syngonium over here. Let's see what else. Ooh, this is a really pretty um, Peperomia, $4.98. I like it. But this one looks a little bit different, like the marbling is different than just regular variegated. What kind are you? Just as a for assorted foliage. What kind is this one, guys? Uh, I know it's a Peperomia, but it's not just regular variegated, I don't think. It's got that unique marbling, and it's $4.98. They also have some fun Episcias, $4.98. <gasps> oh, so pretty. Look at those fluffy, beautiful, beautiful leaves. Oh, is this Mikan's? Whoa! Oh my gosh! How much is this? $4.98 Mikan's at a big box shop. And they have, look at this long trail. What is this one part of? Oh my goodness! Oh, that is the best find ever. I may have to take that one home with me. $4.95 for this beautiful Mikan's. Wow, what is steel? Blue star fern. And some really beautiful ficus. Look how beautiful this Galathea is. Oh, it takes my breath away. Just stunning. Lots of ficus varieties, interesting ficus varieties that you don't see around that often. I don't know what's over here, but it stinks. <laughs> Maybe because I'm over here by the fertilizer. Maybe one of them, you know, broke or something, but it's stanky. <laughs> uh, this fuzzy Calathea, lovely. Some really interesting alocasia. Is this alocasia? Yeah, cucolata. And some more of the alocasia cucolata. I like these leaves. Then we have uh, Diffenbachia, Aglionemas. Hanging out over here. And. Those Syngonium are interesting looking. I'm gonna go over there. They also have this little plant area inside. Some awesome, awesome Rascal's Begonias. Like so beautiful. Look, this one even has a bloom on it. Oh my goodness. There are 16, some little fiddles. <gasps> My battery's about to die. Let me see if I can get some of these in here. Syngoniums, these are 14. Ooh, this huge Syngonium is 12. Look at these Monstera Delici Deliciosa, 16. They have uh, Sunred Philodendron. What do you guys know about a Sunred Philodendron? That is interesting. And I love that it's growing in water. Ooh, Neon Syngonium. Oh, plant sale, 1988 for the fiddles. And then they have some bird of paradise over here. Look at these beautiful philodendron. They are also 1988. Monstera deliciosas. These are 19. That's a good deal as well. Some more parlor palms.
Okay, plant haul time of the video. Had a wonderful time shopping. It looks like a lot of the shops that I went to today are due for shipment soon. So I'm gonna wait a little bit and then go out again and see what kind of plants I can find upon a newer shipment but I still had some amazing, amazing finds today. So let me share the plant that I brought home with me today. It is a beautiful philodendron micans. I cannot believe that this was just hanging out at Home Depot. It was $4.98. I can't believe it. And it has this gorgeous trail down here. I mean, these can run pretty high. So to find a beautiful micans for $4 at a big, big box shop is such a great find. Mykins are such a wonderful, wonderful philodendron. They have, it's one of my favorite plants. It's a huge favorite among, amongst plant collectors. So if you're getting into plants and you want like an easy, fun, but kind of different philodendron, uh, this is a great one to choose. It's very easy care and it doesn't need a lot of light. It's okay being a little bit back from the window. The one thing I would say is it doesn't want to be completely dried out. I'd say once it gets about halfway dry um, and the leaves are looking a little dehydrated, it likes a good drink. Um, but it will, it's a fast grower. It loves to put out new growth. It has these really, really dark, beautiful leaves. I mean, very velvety, very lush. This is a, a very happy plant too. Like look how big these leaves are. It could do with a little rinse off. Maybe I'll just like shower off the leaves a little bit because it has some of this residue on there um, and then the backs of the leaves are very beautiful and kind of tinted with a nice maroon red color um, they're fabulous trailing plants and trailing philodendrons they also enjoy climbing so if you give this one a trellis or a moss pole of some sort it'll just love you forever so yeah this is a great find um, you know Again, a lot of people have been commenting that they'll watch a video and then they'll run out and find a lot of great plants as well. The other option that I saw was the three for 10 option in the cactus and succulents for the two and a half inch pots. That was insane. That was the best deal I've ever seen. You could get three and they're normally priced around $6 for one of those little two and a half inch pots. So to get three of them for 10 was a steal. And they have like variegated, Apuntias, which is a rare cacti. They had some really cool succulents. They had all sorts of other interesting cacti besides the variegated Apuntia. If you saw that portion of the video, I was just blown away. Now that's at Home Depot. I don't know if that's at all Home Depots, but that was very tempting to me today as well. So I decided just to walk home with this, this beauty here. I think that's a wonderful find. Uh, Mikan's for four bucks, can't go wrong. Oh, so, so lovely. So definitely leave in the comments like which plants you would have picked up today. Um, any plants that you've been finding because it helps me kind of keep an eye out. Um, I knew about the Pink Princess because somebody from Charlotte commented that they'd found them. So I went out looking and got really lucky, which in turn helped a lot of other people go out and know where to look for Pink Princess. So you guys are just the best, like the best plant community. I do my best to get back to everybody, um, it, but it usually takes me a few days. So don't be surprised if it takes me a few days to respond, but I do see all your comments and read them and try to respond as timely as I can. And don't forget if you're like me and you deal with stress and anxiety and lack of sleep, just the normal stuff that we all go through. It always feels like we're the only ones dealing with something, but we're all going through it. And that's part of the reason why I love my plants because it's a form of like plant therapy for me. But Aura has been wonderful as well. And you can sign up for free. The first 500 people, which is a lot of people that can sign up, um, the first 500 people to click the link in my description can get a free trial. And then it's 25% off if you decide you wanna stick with it after the free trial. And it's only $5 a month um monthly to sign up for it which is a great deal since it has hundreds of different therapists and counselors and it has so much uh so many great resources on that app that i've found incredibly helpful and i hope it'll you'll find it helpful as well if you use the app let me know what you think so i post about once or twice a week always good vibe positive planty content and so if you'd like to see those episodes show up in your newsfeed, make sure to subscribe and we also have a great plant community on instagram if you're interested in that as well all right everyone i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day you'll definitely be seeing me soon bye